students welcome back to our channel so in this video we are going to discuss the advanced data visualization subject part a questions that means short answers ma so by watching this video you can absolutely attempt the part a questions and you can score full marks in your part a so part a consisting of 10 marks no so each question carries two marks as you all know so i have prepared uh, easy notes for you people ma so what is the first question i have given Ra first question i have given what do you mean by data visualization so what is meant by data visualization showing your data in the form of graphs in the form of charts in the form of diagrams is called data visualization no yes so what it will do with the help of data visualization large number of information can be easily understandable for example this is the matter i have given if this matter i have shown in a picture in a in a uh, diagram format you can easily understand it means large amount of information you can easily understand yes it makes patterns trends and compare comparisons too easy to see that and it will be helpful for your decision making see when you are attempting two marks question ma same five to six lines is more than enough see whatever the question answer i have given this is enough for your final examination to attempt your part a clear and second question i have given what do you mean by scatter plot and how you can construct that so scatter plot is nothing about the where it shows the relationship between two variables like for example in your graph you are having the two variables one is x axis second one is y axis so what it will show it will show the relationship between x axis and y axis what is that scatter plot okay so to construct that x values uh, we will check it on the horizontal val or horizontal side y values we will take it on the vertical side horizontal vertical okay that's it so third question what i have given ma what do you mean by histogram what are the parts of histogram so what do you mean by histogram histogram is nothing about the distribution of continuous data means if the data is showing continuously on the graph see for example on the graph how we will plot the histogram see like this first year second year third year fourth year like that so this is called histogram only no so you can draw the diagrams also if you want okay so x axis we will take the frequencies bars like that on y axis it will be taking like a bars and class intervals okay and the fourth one we have having ma uh, what do you mean by data types of data what is mean by data data is a raw facts either it might be information text facts figure whatever it might be it having the raw facts and figures is called data so there are different types of data first one is a qualitative next one is quantitative quality data and quantity data so quality data is nothing about the descriptive and non numerical data whereas quantitative data is nothing about the continuous and discrete data okay see this is uh, this pdf is called quality data because we are not having enough quantity we are having the quality of your answers right so that is the difference between quality and quantity okay and uh, fifth one what i have given ma business intelligence what do you mean by business intelligence using some techniques using the tools using the technology to analyze your business data to maintain your business to make your performance very well to make the uh, decisions very quickly and easily yes what it will do it will be helpful for your planning it will be helpful to identify your trends it will be helpful for the decision making it will be helpful for your uh, efficiency in your production and it will be efficient to uh, develop your uh, business like that okay next important is olap what do you mean by olap online analytical processing used okay so olap is nothing about the online analytical processing online analytical processing what it will do means whatever the large amount of data you are having it will be analyze it it will analyze that it will summarize the data okay it will uh, select the multiple dimensions in that okay so roll up slice dice drill down these are all we have discussed already in part b right so that is important okay next seventh question ma what do you mean by dashboard and explain the advanced uh, explain the uh, scorecard so dashboard versus scorecard means differences they have asked so dashboard is nothing about the charts or else any type of metrics or any type of real time data whereas the scorecard is nothing about your targets to goals 
okay so score cards mostly focus on your measuring your results okay it will not display your data instead of that it will make you to uh, set your goals and targets okay so next one ma characteristics and advantages of mashup so easy to use mashup is easy to use and it combines the data multiple data in a single way it will analyze your quick analysis will be there yes uh, it will be customizable also in advantages it will save time cost and it will be useful for the ration making like that you can write it for your two marks clear and the last ninth and tenth question is ma ninth question is uh, stages of data visualization so what are the different stages you are having there are different stages ma first one data collection it will collect the data it will gather the data next data preparation means it will organize the data means whatever the quality of data is required that it will do next uh, visual data that means nothing about the uh, representing your data in the form of charts or graphs okay next to visualization is nothing about the presenting your data and analysis is nothing about the understanding the different patterns and layouts okay so these are the different stages of data visualization we are having and the last question is components of dashboards data visualization report styles so this is the last question ma the first components what you are having here so charts and graphs you are having key performance indicators kpis we have already discussed this type of questions in long right next tables uh, next you are having the alerts more uh, notification scorecard these are all we have already discussed in the long explanation right so this is about the part a question ma if you learn this 10 questions means part a questions you can absolutely attempt ma you can able to score 10 marks in your final examination so this is my handwritten notes pdf uh, which is available available in our telegram group for free of cost all the links i have mentioned in the description box let me know in the comment section whether you have understood the explanation or not see you all in next video bye bye students